I'll give you three grand if you hit another one in the outfield. Yeah. Fucking bet is a bet. We may have a car chase. <laughs> oh, that'd be sad. <laughs> My heart is racing. I don't have a huge surprise for him. I got him a fucking cake. Yeah, I, I was struggling with those rockets. Marab! This kid is everything you want in a fighter. I'm UFC President Dana White, and we're always looking for up-and-coming talent to sign. Back in the day, I used to scout the world looking for new talent, but I haven't done that in years. Now, I'm back on the road, I'm looking for fighters, and I'm bringing two of my favorite people with me. Matt Serra won the Ultimate Fighter, and he also became the welterweight champion of the world. He now trains some of the best fighters in the sport out of his gym in Long Island, New York. Dean Thomas is a former UFC fighter and was on the Ultimate Fighter season four with Matt Serra. He's beat some of the best guys in the sport. Serra, Guida, Pulver. He's with the American top team and he's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And he's a lot of fun to hang out with. We're checking out the best restaurants, the coolest places to hang out, having fun, and then going to see some fights. I'm looking for the next Ronda Rousey, the next Robbie Lawler, the next Conor McGregor. I'm looking for future champions. And I'm willing to go to any show, anywhere in the world to find them. We're back on the road and we're headed to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. We're gonna go check out a Mexican street fair. Matt and Dean are gonna go swim with the dolphins. And then we're doing some tequila tasting. Then we're checking out a fight card with local Mexican talent. So we haven't been on the road in, in a while, and it is, uh, it's good to be back with the boys. We're back, Dean Thomas. <laughs> Blue, oh, yeah. okay. Why are you skinny? Why are you fat? I'm skinny? I was hoping you were fat. I was hoping you were fatter. Oh, man. I was hoping you were fatter. No. This is great. I was hoping you'd be heavier. <laughs> Dean awesome. Thomas lost weight. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. Just for the shoot? Tell me the truth. Yeah. Now, you see me work. You see me more sloppy. I, I look strong. You look awesome. Oh, okay. You always look good, Matt. Sarah. Matt is like being with a little kid. Oh, look at the pizza. <laughs> you know when you're with a little kid and you go to a restaurant, you gotta say, "Do you guys have a kids menu?" <laughs> that is Matt. Matt needs the kids menu. There's no such thing as bad pizza. This guy eats nothing but fucking pizza. It's so good. We're back. We're doing it all in. <laughs> so we went to the San Jose Festival, which is not a touristy thing, it's a locals thing. And I like those type of things, and it was fun. People always get a little weird about eating things off carts in Mexico, uh, and, and I'm definitely one of those guys, but we, were, we went for it. They had this um, big slab of meat that was turning around. First of all, what is it? Where did it come from? How long has it been out? Was it in a fridge? You know, you start thinking about all these kind of things, and then I was just like, "Fuck it, let's let's do it." They sawed off a few pieces of meat, dropped it into a taco, and we ate them. And it was absolutely delicious. Wow, <laughs> fucking really good. So how do they make this? What, where, how, how does this work? It's made with a, a, a Mexican spice called a chiote. And what you see there is basically like steaks put together in a form of a, of a top. So they also call it a taco de trompo. Well, that was good. Right? What else you got? So we stopped at one little spot to get some pork. And on the, uh, the ledge, of the display had all the different spices. And these are all hot sauces? These are all hot sauces. They told me that the one was the hottest, so they dared me and they challenged me to eat it. What good. do you think we have here for your personality? <laughs> <laughs> Dean Thomas wants to try one with the hottest sauce on it. <laughs> yeah! yeah Dean Thomas! And me, you know me, I never shy away from a challenge. This is habanero sauce. That's why the rapper's still on it. Nobody's fucking with that shit. <laughs> Normally with these type of things that are this hot, you're supposed to take like one drop. Oh, wait, stop. Is that a teardrop? It's a teardrop. 
we dumped that sauce all over. Come on. Oh, come on, man, no, that's no, not no. Sauce. are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah, not, yeah. absolutely yeah. not. We're, we're fucking warm a cage fighters. I know it is, man, but you Please. see how that shit came Listen out? Listen to me, you gotta do this. Pain, it's temporary. Very temporary. It's temporary. Pain is temporary. Yeah. You know, glory is forever. forever. Glory is forever. Uh, come on, man, look, we're yeah. at Sizzler. Eat that thing. I'm all right. Eat it. We're at the Sizzler. <laughs> Chew it, chew it. I, I gotta give him props, man, he ate it. He started off good after a couple bites, but I think it takes a couple of seconds to kick in and then he was getting his ass kicked and then it was then he was done. Oh man, my lips are burning. Oh, Your upper lip is sweating. Oh, no. oh, you are sweaty. Oh my God. I'm dying, my chest hurts. <laughs> he was hurting. He was hurting for a while after. <laughs> I'm trying to let my, my mouth air out. <laughs> ah. Go to this one tent, and there's this guy putting down like three cards, and you got to follow where the devil goes. Very difficult. <laughs> I tried to do it, and I, I thought I had it dead to rights, and I, I picked it wrong. Uno, dos, o tres. Oh, fuck! Excuse me. Sorry, kids. I'm sorry, kids. Let, let Dean try it. Dean, get in here. I can't be hustled. Find the devil. I can't be hustled. I went out like a sucker, too, man. He played me, too. You can't be hustled. You can't be hustled. It was, it was the habanero sauce. It, it finally caught up to me. Unfortunately, on this trip, I, I was having some pretty bad attacks. I have what's called Meniere's disease. It's damaged to the uh, to the inner ear, and it gives you really bad vertigo. And you know, when I'm having these attacks, I can go down from anywhere from 10 to 12 hours at a time. So Matt and Dean had to spend some quality time together. Okay, hi. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm blind, I'm blind. I'm in spring break and we hanging out and having a good old time. But what I didn't realize is that I'm the old dude. I'm the old dude on spring break. This is all right. No, man, we too old for this shit. We got a goddamn blowjob fucking bandana I'm on. I'm just trying to fit in. That's your... I'm trying to fit in. So we're hanging out, having some drinks. UFC superstar Donald Cowboy Cerrone happens to be there with uh, a couple of his buddies. They're doing a push-up contest. We're going to see who the strongest girl in Cabo is. I think she's going to win. The one right here with the with the hoop earrings. Hey, I know who's going to win. She's going to win right there. This one right here. I'm putting the money on. So somebody let me borrow five bucks. So I said, you know what? I'm going to sponsor that girl. Oh, oh, you can't touch the floor anymore. And she kind of strong over here, man. Yeah, that one's cheating like a motherfucker. This one right here. Let's go, six. <laughs> she hung in there pretty long, but I ain't gonna front though. She cheated, because if you look back at the tape, every time she do a push-up, she push her ass back so that the weight was on her knees and not on her hands. Beat them! Oh my beat them! God, ah, so beat them! Beat them! She didn't do too bad. She came in second place. I was proud of her. Then we got a chance to go hang glide it. Dude, that looks like something out of fucking Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. And it's a damn pit bull yeah. tied to an extension to cord you. to the building. It's got disaster written all over it, Dean Thomas. When we pulled up and I saw this little hand glider attached to a fucking cart and a motor with a fan on the back. They just go behind that thing and they, they give it a twirl. <laughs> they just let it go. So I was a little, I was a little concerned. Hello, sir. How are you guys? Hi, I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. What's up? I'm Dean. It looked like there's only room for one person. Yes. 
One passenger and me. Oh, you see? <laughs> I know, but I'm just making sure it was you coming too, because I ain't getting that thing by myself. I am your fight on day, don't worry. I sit behind you, right? Might have a little Alabama black snake sticking in your back. Be careful. <laughs> All I know is a good buddy of mine rode with him on a motorcycle and kept feeling Our friendship ain't back. been the same since. <laughs> OK, this is for you. Oh, I always wanted to be a Tuskegee Airman. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know you'd make him look like an asshole. <laughs> So we, we go, we get off, we get into the air. Ah, these dollars! On top of the world! It's just a beautiful scene. I mean, we could see the entire city of Cabo. The only part that got really, really, really scary is when we made that turn, because he bent that corner kind of tight. My nuts went up into my stomach, and it was a little scary. How was it? It was good, man. You got to do it. It's not that scary. What about, do I look scared of anything? Yes. What? Heights. I'm only 5'6". What do you want from me? <laughs> you are real. going to love it. OK. So I did it. Fat guy in little coat. I'm like a little superhero. down near the water, and he took me down. There's whales underneath us. So it was pretty wild, man. After that, he took me down and very close to the ground, to the point where it gets you a little nervous. It was quite the experience. King of the world! So then we go swimming with the dolphins. First off, I don't like water, and second, I don't like fish. Hello. Hola. Hello. How, you doing? Hola. How are you? Matt, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name Hello. is Mariana. I'm Dean. Now, guys, one thing that is very important, uh -oh. uh, they're big animals, OK? Yeah. And they like to be pet all the time with a big open palm behind the blowhole. So behind the blowhole. <laughs> behind. So. What is that Hold on, what? what? Why are you trying to touch the dolphin's blowhole? I don't like nothing around the blowhole. I don't need oh, it. I mean around the blowhole. <laughs> but can we please get back to this? Guys, when you get in the pool, you are the submissive one. These guys, they are the ones that have the power. So. Yeah. It's kind of hard for me. I'm extremely alpha. That's why I hang out with him. Oh, not in the pool. <laughs> Here, Nacho is the alpha man. All right, all right. We're ready to go. We're ready to rock. OK, ready, guys? Closer. Oh, how deep um, is this one? Oh, dude, I can't even see the bottom. I can't see the bottom. I don't swim, so I, know, I don't know how this is going to work out. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't know how to swim, Nacho. Ah, Nacho. Exactly what, what I would have said. Just gave a big raspberry. So. Nacho, what do you think of my buddy Dean Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Nacho are like this. <laughs> so, so, you know, they have us doing some different stuff, including, like, hugging the dolphin. Uh, this reminds me of my ex. <laughs> Well, except she's thinner. Yeah. She's close with Does this family. dolphin know any whales that my friend might want to run? <laughs> <laughs> he likes the open weight class. And kissing the dolphin. The guy had me do it. I gave a couple of kisses. You know, it's like a smooth, uh, not a beak. N fucking snoot. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Thing. What he, the dolphin's fucking mouth. So I gave it a couple of pecks. Wow. Oh, my wife doesn't get jealous. I don't want to do that. Kiss that thing. I don't really get down with fish like that. I never kissed an animal. Who makes you think I want to kiss a dolphin on the oh, mouth? Oh, look at it. Uh, Come on, kiss it right there on the mouth. Oh, no! They <laughs> <laughs> got his tongue out. The dolphin stuck his tongue out. Dean almost French kissed the dolphin. <laughs> the thing was like, ah, it's fucking nasty. <laughs> we did some other tricks with these dolphins. Now he's swimming with the dolphin. What happened to us? I let a dolphin tongue kiss me. 
I gave you a hug at the end. It was a little, a little awkward. <laughs> You're a nice, you're a nice dolphin. You're a nice dolphin. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Do I let go? Do you let go? Okay, goodbye. It's like, all right, I'm done. But it was, it was a good time, though. <laughs> so then they took us to go ride camels. I didn't know what to expect. So you want to look like Lorenzo Paravia, sir? That's what I want to look oh, like. Yeah, he was five, six and full of muscles and pasta. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. Uh, Papa! I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, oh, it's like a dress. That's right, cover his eyes. I look like a powerful <laughs> prince. <laughs> hey, buddy. Ready? Yeah. Oh, we're ready. You look legit. Where are we going? Oh, it's got a nice little uh, yeah, shrine right. to it. It goes like boom, boom, and boom, and boom. <laughs> Behind me, Dean Thomas. I'm still here. I'm just getting my groove on. Strides, though, making my thingy move. Actually, <laughs> you too, Dean. You know it is. I know. <laughs> oh God. Sorry, I'm on testosterone. <laughs> what, what kind of uh, noises do they make? Do they bark? Do they growl? What do they do? You just asked if the camel barks. I, I don't know if the camel oh, barks. Can what you does jump it make? off right now and run into the ocean? Did anybody ask such a question ever? No, no. All right. Listen, All right. I don't know what a camel does. Do, yeah, it barks. It yeah, might bark. Rough camel. <laughs> Look how nice that, look how nice that water is. I think one day I'd be sharing stuff like this with my wife instead of sharing it with you. <laughs> Matt figured that he should be on the camel with his wife, but instead he's riding it with me. I mean, he's probably right about that. Beautiful memories. <laughs> I know, right? It was still a very cool experience. I rode a fucking camel. There's a lot of great restaurants in Cabo. One of my favorite places is Mikasa. It's fun for everybody. They have mariachi bands that are great, and it's just a really fun place to drink, eat, and have a great time. Put up your soft drinks. Aw, <laughs> I loved it. Awesome food, awesome atmosphere. They have mariachi bands that are great and come by and play. I was trying to get them to cover Drake's new song, God's Plan, but I don't think they had that on their playlist. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Very nice. The artist there that does the characters is incredible. He's actually very, very good. And Dana whispered something to his ear. He was like, hey, draw this, this, that, and this. So I wanted a, uh, a picture of me, Dean, and Matt with things that we've done from the show. It was like five, six minutes later. He has this elaborate picture. OK, amigo. This is the masterpiece. Oh, really? Already? Oh, really? Yes. They don't fuck around. What's with my nipples? <laughs> Man, I look powerful. My nipples are out there here. I don't know if it was cold out on that bowl. Matt had nipples, look like nipples on a baby bottle. How come I got no calves? <laughs> <laughs> he had me riding the motorcycle the time that we thought we were going to die, riding back in the rain. He had Dean eating the hot dogs from the hot dog eating competition in Bangor, Maine. I'll never eat a hot dog again. Don't worry, Uncle Dana will take care of your everything if shit goes south. <laughs> and then Matt, they had Matt riding the bull. Three fun episodes and, and three crazy things that we'll never forget. Fast. He told me we're gonna get the balloon lady up and I'm just looking around and I'm like, dude, there's no kids here. Well, I'm kind of a big kid. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I wanted this one. Thank you. You got more of a, you have a manly of one though? I mean, what? Don't worry. Enjoy the moment. Nobody will never see you. Oh, come on, <laughs> I hope nobody. Wipe me! If you're there with a group of children, she can make balloons for the children. If you're there with a group of adults, she has balloons for adults. He is way too good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I just said it. He said it. She was the fastest balloon animalist I've ever seen. Do duck, chicken, dick. Boobies. Everybody, everybody
everybody's gonna see this. It's not gonna see your belly. Don't worry about your belly. You've been working out or not. I can tell. Okay. This was a raunchy balloon person. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I wanted to I wanted to true to life. I wanted to true to life. Matt wanted to draw swords. So we had a, a, a lightsaber fight with our penises. Sword fight! Sword fight! I never shy away from the challenge. If you want to have a sword fight with me with a balloon penis, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been going to Cabo for around 20 years. And this was my first time to Poncho's. And it was my first time doing a tequila tasting, much like you go and taste wine and they have different types of food that go along with certain types of wine. They do the same thing for tequila. Say that 10 times fast. Tequila tasting, tequila tasting, tequila tasting. And the story in Mexico, a long time ago, they start taking Indians, chicas, have a one ring in his pulque. What is the pulque? I wasn't following some of the stories, to be honest with you. I don't know what he was talking about, but uh, I just wanted to do some fucking shots. I mean, Cabo. Jose, it's a 20-minute show. Let's get drunk. Yeah, Jose. Yeah, yeah shots. I just put a tequila blanco right here. Remember, it's not a tequila shot, OK? Ooh, it's not a shot. Not a shot. To taste them, please. Oh, you can absolutely taste the difference between the tequilas. Traditionally, I only like white tequila. I, I don't like any any of the ones with any color in it. But I was super uneducated on it, and I, I actually liked them all. Man, I'm Dean Thomas. Throw back. <laughs> Do it, man. I don't think Dean Thomas is much of a drinker. Dean Thomas always gets a look on his face like he smelled something bad. He's always like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. I mean, it makes me gag. Oh. It makes me gag. What's the best tequila you have in this building? Well, I have the, the best tequila. I have the one tequila I say, uh, the shot is $250 per shot. Mm -hmm. Give us all a shot of that. And I told him flat out, listen, don't get me that shot. I ain't drinking that shot. And you know, I wanted to save Dana some money because he might need it one day. Now, for $250 a shot, does it like grow my dick or anything? <laughs> does it give me any magic powers? My God. So that was actually delicious. I threw that right in the back of my throat. That was nice, very nice. I have another surprise for you. There's the best tequila too, you know? The guy pulls out this huge glass jar full of tequila with a dead rattlesnake in it. Dana and Matt made me drink the tequila with the damn dead snake in it. Dean, 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 Dean. Dean, Dean drinks the show like Fear Factory. He's always eating crazy shit. This is your moment. This is your superhero moment. This is my moment. But don't spill it. That doesn't right. count. But really, but do it. Ah! Do it. Do it. The whole thing, all the way back. All the way back. Yes, drink it, drink it, rattlesnake. And it was a full, big, nasty shot of rattlesnake tequila. <laughs> The first fight on the card for the pros is uh, the Cabo Kid. He's 4-0 against uh, Abraham Flores, who is also undefeated in his 4-0. I heard, in the main event, I heard about this kid. Elias Garcia? Yeah, I know him from uh, Rufus Sport. He's Sergio and Anthony Pettis' cousin. Yeah. They're related. Yeah. Captain Chaos? <laughs> what the fuck is this, Cannonball Run? <laughs> <laughs> the Captain Chaos is the uh, Tachi Palace flyweight champion, and he also competed on the Ultimate Fighter uh, 24. Oh, snap. Because the Adam kid, I feel like he's gonna show out because like this is his last chance, really. You know, he was on the Ultimate Fighter 24, now he's back in front of Dana. He's put on biggest stages. Yeah. Oh, these are gonna be some great fights. I'm excited for the main event, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing some new Mexican talent. I'm with you. Why'd you have to end it? He shouldn't <laughs> get the last word in. You like, couldn't let Dana get the worst word in. I was just su supporting him. Look at this guy. Is he like he's having a good time? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the hotel we stayed at was the Marquis Los Cabos. The fights were being held there, and the room that they had it in was awesome. It was a perfect room for a small fight like this. I, I was impressed. And then to join us for the fights, we had the great Cowboy Cerrone. Donald Cowboy Cerrone. 
He was drunk. He was lit. He was having a good time. And he was enjoyable to sit and watch a fight with. So the first kid to fight is a 22-year-old kid named Carlos Castaneda. Carlos, the Cabo kid, was 4-0-1. Oh, Abraham Flores was apparently undefeated as an amateur, 12-0 as an amateur. Ooh. Cabo fucking kid, man. All right. Matt, Dean, and I, and Cowboy, were very impressed with this kid. This kid is very talented and I think has a lot of potential. <laughs> This is a kid that should be in our developmental program. Our developmental program, we go into a new territory. We go in and we find people who we think are talented. We pay for them to come to the United States. We pay for them to live and train in one of these big camps. And I think that this kid is, is perfect for it. Being there live is so different than watching it on the internet or on TV. Obviously, first and foremost, how talented is he? And do you think that he has potential to, to be something great? Then, how does the crowd react to him? How does he react to the crowd? When I meet him face to face, there's so many different variables that I look at when, when I go looking for talent. Right before the main event starts, I had a Meniere's attack. And these lights are fucking bugging me out. Dana just, you know, he's, he's holding his ear and he's got his hand over his head. This shit hurts when I have the Meniere's, these type of lights fuck me up. Dana has a, the thing called Meniere's where it's, uh, it affects his ear and his head and he gets like a vertigo and it really, really screws him up. And then he started getting dramatically worse he just turned to me and he said, I gotta go. He's like, I gotta go. But I told Matt, Sarah, whichever kid wins this fight, tell them they're in. They're in the UFC, we'll give them a shot. This kid's good, he's going in, man. Yeah, both of them are really good. The main event was very evenly matched, I felt. And the reason why I say that is because I know Elias Garcia. Having the level of fighters that he's with every day, I knew he'd be able to at least handle himself with a more experienced opponent in Adam Annalyn. Let's see how he's up his back. Well, he's letting him get out. Oh, I like that kick. I told him that the other day in my car. And you could see right away, the speed difference right away was in Elias Garcia's favor. He was just faster on his feet, more confident on his feet. him out money. He took him out in the first round, and uh, and it was a beautiful thing. You'll hear it first, Pettis. He's going to be in. He's in. He's in there like swimwear, baby. Listen, you're in. Hey, hold on. You're in. I fuck you one, bro. I fuck you one. First round knockout, baby. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh. And it just goes to show you that when opportunities come your way, you gotta take advantage of them. You cannot say no to an opportunity. You're fucking in. All right. So you're in, homie. You're in, dude. You Good job, it, bro. Good job, kid. <laughs> That's what this show is all about, man. I love kids that wanna fight so bad and wanna be world champions and wanna be in the UFC that it's that powerful. It means that much to them. Just fucking Monday, I was just doing nothing, dude. Now I'm in the fucking UFC, dog. Woo! We get the opportunity to go to really cool cities, do some fun stuff, but at the end of the day, we get to go sit ringside and watch some of the future world champions fight and get their shot in the UFC. Whoa!